This seems ridiculously bright, I don't know what's going on. I realise that I haven't been on again for a long, long time and it's just been quite busy just settling back in uh, to the swing of things, settling back into training. I've had, I'll go into, it, into this in another video, but I've had a pretty bad start to this season um, in the grand scheme of my past four years worth of training, which you saw in the last video. So yeah, I'll go through that in the next video and I'll give you the story so far, but for now it's, uh, it's time to go through the Strava numbers and what I actually managed to do last year. So what happened in 2021 in terms of my training and racing and just the numbers that Strava gives you on your yearly report. So I'm sure everyone can relate to it because you can just go on to it yourself and just go give me my 2021 stats. Um, and But yeah, I, I'll just like give you mine and exactly what I've been up to. So first things first, total days active. 338 days. So yeah, if you take into consideration that I had two weeks off for my break and one week for an additional break, which I spoke about in one of the other videos. That's what, 21 days in total that I've just taken off for complete breaks. You can kind of see what I mean or what I'm trying to say is like there weren't too many days that I missed last year, but at the same time, more than I usually would. As you can see, 350 days uh, total the year before. Next, top sport, running. I think, I, I don't understand how that can be possible. I do a load more hours of cycling. So yeah, I don't know how they work that out, but I assume it's just like the number of times that you do that within the year. So I probably did do more sessions of running in the year, but not necessarily as many hours. Achievements, hmm. Personal records, 1,664. Yeah, PRs, so I guess that's just on segments and things. I don't tend to go for segments. Uh, it just kind of racks up as, as and when. Total time, this is always an interesting one. 1,092 hours with, with the most hours being in March. I don't know why, I guess March is the last m real month before you start to race and therefore you wanna put in a decent stint before uh, you're actually tapering off and ready to race. So yeah, my January, February are usually pretty big just because of that as well. So obviously your uh, September, October, November, December is to build up the base in order to do the January, uh, February and March work. So as you can see there, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory in that respect. I put in a big base of work in those three months, ready to race for the rest of the season. And I think you can see that uh, in the past uh, video when I go through my four years worth of work and each time it goes up in those January, February, March periods. So 1,092 hours is, again, it's a decent amount of hours. Um, it's not as many as previous hours. So you can see total time in 2020 was 1,193, sorry, not 1,900, that would be obscene. Um, so yeah, like decent amount of training, uh, but just not as many hours as previous years. This captures most of my training, Strava does, but um, I think it misses out a few hours here and there, just dependent on what actually uploads. I don't upload everything. Total distance, 20,892. Most of that will be probably done on Zwift in all honesty, or just on the bike. That tends to rack up the most. Total kudos, I, uh, I'm i not very good at giving kudos, as you can see. Uh, 3,997 received. Thank you very much to everyone for the support. Um, unfortunately, I don't, doesn't look like I give as much uh, support to others in this respect. So apologies. Total elevation. So this will pretty much all be on the bike. I, Wales is pretty mountainous or hit very hilly, should I say. So I don't tend to go under a thousand meters per ride uh, on when I'm out and about. So yeah, 154,367. So compare that to yourself. I don't know how that compares at all. Yeah, I think it's a decent amount of elevation, but looks like I did loads more in 2020. Yeah, this is the, the totals. This is everything uh, that I've done this year. Uh, top sport is running. Total days active uh, is 338 time, 1,092 hours. Uh, distance 20,892 and 
elevation 154,367. So yeah, like feel free to compare that to yourself. I have no idea how it compares. I think it's quite a lot of stuff. Like I tend to run a high volume program in general. Um, but yeah, like see for yourself, compare it to you. Do not try and chase those numbers. Uh, age group, I'm a professional athlete. Age group athletes uh, target should be a lot, lot less just because you've got work and life to consider. Whereas this is my main um, profession. I'm doing it day in, day out. Like this should take priority for me in the grand scheme of things. So yeah, just bear that in mind. Uh, but yeah, I thought it'd just be interesting for you guys to see uh, and yeah, let me know in the comments below as to what you think or what your total hours were. I hope that was quite insightful. Uh, if so, do give the channel a follow, like and subscribe the uh, to the video and the channel and yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.